Hey everyone, this is a short preview of what to expect in my pen and ink tutorial, Country Chicken. I always like to start my drawings in pencil, which eliminates some of the risk working directly with pen. So after the pencil, we can work with our disposable pens. And once we're happy with that drawing, we can erase the pencil and start colorizing our pen work with watercolor. Super fun project, suitable for all levels. And we're only working with one pen and a handful of brushes, as well as a handful of colors. Working on hot pressed paper, you'll probably notice that the watercolor paint dries pretty fast. So that's why I'm encouraging you to work on a smaller format. So in addition to the hot pressed paper, which is a very smooth, almost Bristol like surface, you're going to want a pencil. I'm using an H pencil. You can go as light as a 2H if you want to. And when you're dealing with organic subject matter, you want to be able to move and shift your line work to follow the contours of your subject. You can revisit some areas as well to just add a little bit more density. I'm looking at painting the flowers and the lightest greens. The hydrangeas themselves are actually a really, really pale green with a tiny bit of yellow. So I'm starting with the sap green and I'm just applying that to the left and lower part of the hydrangeas. So I'm just gonna drop into the cone of the flower a little bit of the permanent rose and then we can move down to a three here. I'm gonna just drag some of that color out so it's really, really pale. It's going back to my sap green for a moment just to help to create a little bit more contrast behind the hydrangeas. So I'm gonna be using my rubber cement pickup and it's just this piece of rubber basically um, that uh, is very pebbly and very grippy and that's what I'm gonna to use to remove my masking fluid because. Friends, here is our final country chicken painting and as you can see in the upper right hydrangeas, I added a little blush of permanent rose because I felt like they were getting lost in the background a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this fun little tutorial and remember that all of these techniques are transferable to any subject matter. So have fun, explore, be brave, and happy painting. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to dive a little deeper into your artistic journey with me, all of my full length video tutorials are available through my website at crystalbeshera.com slash shop videos. Each video has written prompts as well as real time footage, techniques, and pro tips. They also come with a downloadable printable kit with a complete list of materials, reference images, and the art lessons are yours to keep and you can stream or download to watch anywhere, anytime. All of these links are listed below in the description. By subscribing to my newsletter, you receive 15% off my line of brushes. You'll be among the first to know about promotions, shows, tutorials, inspiring blog entries, and workshops either at my home studio near you or abroad. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next time.